Elizabeth Wagmeister here with Variety Artisans. We are on the stage of The Voice. It is the night of a live show, and I am with the lighting designer, Oscar Dominguez. He is going to tell us how he makes all of this come to life. I prefer Generalissimo de Illuminacion, <laughs> but lighting designer will do. Obviously, the show is about to begin in about two hours' time, but mm -hmm. I know that a lot of prep work goes into every single night. Uh, we'll start on a Friday. So, you know, we have a live show on Monday, a live show on Tuesday, results show. Uh, we'll get a concept from the performance producer. It'll be like, you know, it's a cafe, or it should feel like, you know, it's in a room full of windows and there's rain, or it could be anything. <laughs> I think I read somewhere that you never repeat the same lighting design twice. Is that true? Correct. In every every iteration we have, so we have the blinds, the battles, and the live round. Basically, we've never used the same plot twice. We'll have our own post-mortem. We'll sit around, we'll barbecue, and the, the boys and I'll sit around, we'll watch some shows and go like, well, this worked, this sucked, what if we had this here, how about that? And then, you know, if money is allowed, then we will make those changes. Turn down the Bed. Turn down these voices inside my head. How you doing, Mr. Sammy? Boss, what's going on? I don't know. There's strange people following us. It's awkward, right? It's super awkward, <laughs> isn't it, Sammy? It's very awkward, Oscar. <laughs> are they here? They are here, Wellesley. And they are watching you. Before the show, Oscar took us up to where the main lighting desks live. It's a little noisy because we're here yes. at dress rehearsal, right. uh, but we are in your lair. So if you can walk us around and just show me what everything is here. There's a lot of equipment. There's a lot of stuff, and what we'll do is we'll walk this way. Okay. I'll show you the primary console. And like I said, uh, the aforementioned Dan Bolin. Uh, the Grand MA, which is our main, our primary desk. We have two Grand MAs that run basically the entire rig. Media and lighting. Uh, basically, this desk will control all the lighting fixtures that you see here. So what I, what I end up doing is Oscar and I collaborate on what, what we want for color and tone and what we want, want to uh, achieve with each song. Mm -hmm. And I basically just program it. Every touch screen, every button has a meaning. You know, we can just, just Ooh. Sizzle. So am I allowed to press any buttons You here? can press Can I make buttons. a sizzle happen? Yeah. Pick a couple of colors. Okay. Ooh. Right? That's you. Literally. The yeah. touch of one button. Yeah. Do that to a move huge national. Yeah, move, drag your hand finger across the screen. Oh, that's awesome. The higher you go, more saturated it is, right? Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Pretty cool, right? That is so cool. Yeah. You need to get blinded up here. I feel like you need to be wearing shades, right? Yeah. Sizzle. A little sizzle. Yes. Very cool. Do you now touch them. them all at the same time. Crazy style. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because, you know, watching as a viewer on TV, I see all of this happening. I assume that it was all pre programmed So the fact that you're doing that manually, it's pretty cool. So we are sitting here and it's almost a live show. Yes. About to begin. What act are you most excited for in tonight's show? I think that Adam Wakefield doing a Journey song that is just really cool. Just the rendition is cool, and I feel like the, the lighting is really one of our better looks tonight. It's soulful. He's in, you know sitting at a piano, and we're able to you know come up and be have a very moody key light, and that whole thing. And he gets up and comes downstage. That sort of thing where we're able to craft somebody's face and evoke emotion. And then Lath, who is just such a powerful, soulful singer that you know we're able to just you know carve him out in the darkness and with just heavy, heavy color. And he just looks like this, like blues god sitting there. Make it rain. Make it rain down low. So when we were sitting in the truck, you were getting so excited over everything, wearing your headset, giving direction. Mm -hmm. It almost seemed like you were a conductor with the way that you were moving your hands. No, just a guy was really lucky. But that's very nice of you to say. No, I mean I suppose you know we have a dozen follow spots that we all have to call, and the guys at the desk. So, you know, in a way, I guess I was conducting the light, I suppose. I think that the light and sound, the essence of television, right, 
it has to sort of work together. Now. Level. Warm circuit only. Push to 70. Open to include. Start using it open. Five. It's a lot harder <laughs> to do the live stuff, but also a lot more rewarding because when you get done, the, the satisfaction when you get off the air without, you know, without a glitch, right. it's great. It's like the best feeling in the world, you know. Stand by. Listen for me. Hey. Please share this video, click like, and tell us what you think in the comments. We love making these artisans' videos, and that's how you can help us keep on making them. To see more on competition shows, click on the box to the left to see how the costume designers for Dancing with the Stars work with their dancers to make everyone look fabulous. Click on the box to the right to see how the amazing race gets its amazing shots. To never miss an artisans' video, click on the subscribe button. That will sign you up for the Variety Channel. There's a new artisans' video every week, so come back soon. Thanks for watching.